I think one of the greatest achievements is the Hubble Ultra Deep Field, which is a very, very long exposure on the sky so that we can see extremely faint and distant galaxies. And what's remarkable about that is that even the most distant galaxies that astronomers have found in those images are fully formed, mature galaxies, which is not really what theorists expected before the Hubble images were made. Um, and it certainly means that we need JWST now to look even further back in time if we want to try and catch galaxies at a much earlier phase of their development when they were first forming. <laughs> it's telling us about how the universe formed and how it evolved to the present day. And we have a, a big gap in our um, understanding because we can study the structure of the very early universe shortly after the Big Bang using missions like COBE and the soon to be launched ESA Planck mission. And we can study galaxies with Hubble, but the two don't yet match up and we need to understand what happened in order to create and make galaxies and stars and ultimately where we come from. The main way is it's different uh, is that it's bigger. It's a six and a half meter diameter mirror. The whole telescope is cooled to just 40 degrees above absolute zero. And in the case of the mid-infrared instrument MIRI, we're only seven degrees above absolute zero, which is when all the atoms stop vibrating. So it's very cold indeed. It needs to be so cold because infrared radiation is heat radiation. And so you're trying to measure the heat that's coming from very cold bodies in space and the telescope has to be colder than the thing you're trying to measure, otherwise the signal that you would see is just the warmth of the telescope itself. The important things that MIRI can do are that um, it takes images, so this will enable JWST to take the very deep images of distant galaxies and also to look for debris disks and planets near stars. But when JWST and MIRI are doing this, we use a special technique called a coronagraph, which is a little black spot that we can center over the star. And this is really important because it cuts the light out from the star. And that makes it much easier to see very faint things like small planets that are close to the star or structures in our debris disks that we know are the precursors of planet formation.